based in Sydney, Heritropolis now. It was the coalition government that signed up to the Paris Accord. And now uh, what Peter Dutton is saying is that he won't have a 2030 target. He won't tell you what he will do before the election. It's a bit like someone getting on a plane at the new airport on one of those mystery flights where you don't know where you're going to go, you don't know what the destination is, you think you're going to one direction but you find yourself on the other part of Australia or the other part of the world. And you can't, uh, you can't get off uh, your flight until 2040 because that's when the nuclear fantasy will land if they can find a location, if they can find someone who'll fund a nuclear power plant. Until then, you're going to have to parachute out of the plane and take, uh, take pot luck at where you land. This is an extraordinary uh, failure of leadership from Peter Dutton. It shows he's not up to the job of being the alternative prime minister of this country. And just in the last 24 hours, we've had at least five different positions put by coalition, um, including coalition shadow ministers, like Barnaby Joyce calling to scrap net zero by 2050, others like Bridget Archer calling for a target and support for our existing target for 2030, other people just all over the shop. Uh, whenever Peter Dutton has put out a detail of a policy, it has fallen into a heap within minutes. And that's why uh, he has gone now more than two years without having a single costed alternative policy to the government's plans. I'm guaranteeing the 2030 target uh, that we have legislated, as well as net zero by 2050. What we're concentrating on is delivering 43 per cent by 2030, and we've got a mechanism to get there. The safeguard mechanism that was first uh, introduced or floated by Greg Hunt when he was the minister, but never ever delivered. Uh, the coalition had 22 different energy plans and didn't land one. We have one energy plan. It's a 2030 target of 43 per cent. It's a safeguard mechanism for the high emitters uh, to bring down on a trajectory of their emissions. There's a capacity investment scheme. There is the announcements that we made uh, in the budget, be it solar sunshot, hydrogen head start, the production tax credits for green hydrogen and for critical minerals. We have a plan for Australia to go forward. Peter Dutton is scared of the current, but he is terrified of the future. And what you need to do is to shape that future or the future will shape us. The world is moving. The global economy is transitioning to clean energy. And Australia has a comparative advantage. We need to seize the opportunities which are there for new jobs created with new investment, particularly in our regions. Peter Dutton wants to scare that investment away and wants Australia to fail. I want Australia to succeed and I believe that Australians want that as well. That's what they voted for. That's what the business community are crying out for, as well as conservation groups, as well as the work that every state and territory government are doing, including, I might say, this New South Wales Labor government, but the former New South Wales coalition government as well supported our targets and supported action. Peter Dutton is isolated in the naughty corner and wants us to join Iran, Yemen and Libya as countries outside the Paris Accord and outside climate action.